50 Cent chimes in and says he does not believe the fake memoir and the author that put it out, even though he doesn't mess with Diddy, he still can't ride what was in that fake memoir. You know what? Let's get into some of this straight game. Life is like cards. It's not what you dealt, but how you play it. Remember they used to laugh at a brother Welcome back guys, welcome back It's your boy Delray Richardson, platinum artist, platinum songwriter, straight game TV Thank you for tuning in, I appreciate your time Do me a favor, uh, click the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you have not already And like I always say, if you want to be one of the first people notified when I drop some of the straight game Please do me a favor and click on what appears to be that little bell notification right below this video I'm going to get right into it Ladies and gentlemen, 50 Cent chimed in uh, in relation to the uh, video that, uh, that, that that's on fire right now over on the Art of Dialogue. 50 Cent chimed in. 50 Cent reposted uh, a clip of the video. Basically, uh, the author of Kim Porter's book says uh, Kim had tapes of Diddy having relations with uh, Jay-Z, Will Smith, and others. And 50 chimed in and he said, Y'all know I don't F with Diddy, but I don't believe a word out of this fool's mouth. Y'all know I don't F with Diddy, but I don't believe a word out of this fool's mouth. That's interesting, and I'm going to tell you why. You have people now trying to chime in. Once again, you know, you have certain people who are basically just trolls. They troll behind everything that somebody else puts out, and then they try to come on a uh, comment on it but they come uh, uh, incorrect with the information. The, the thing I like about this uh, situation in dealing with 50 Cent is the fact that here's somebody who we know in social media and as a, uh, a rap superstar himself um, that has not really been fond of Diddy. We've seen the things that he said in regards to him on The Breakfast Club and you know, basically over the internet and on his uh, Instagram account and so on and so forth. So this right here uh, surprises me, but it really doesn't surprise me. And I'm surprised that 50 was actually paying attention. Um, more importantly, to repost this, but like I said, the Art of Dialogue is a huge platform and um, a lot of people tune in uh, to what's going on over there. And so like I said, more importantly, um, you see it, 50 Cent chimed in saying, hey, you know what? But let me let me get into this. You got to understand, once again, like I said, when you're talking about somebody who's writing a book or who's somebody who is forwarding a book for somebody, somebody like, um, you know, like I say, a Kim Porter or anybody else, if you will. Right. The fact of the matter is when somebody says in the clip that 50 Cent actually played was the clip involving um, with the guy, uh, Chris Todd, a.k.a. Jamal. Uh, T. Millwood, a T for Tupac, he said. And um, when somebody is asked a question in regards to um, the hard drive and would they ever release the hard drive, and the person tells you, well, only if the hard drive, I mean, only if I'm pressed, you know, if I'm sued or something like that, I'll reveal it. But if, if, I, if I get a clean slate and, and I can continue to go in without any... Um, push back or any pressure anything like that i'm not going to show it because i'm going to be in the in the um purview of making money you understand what i'm saying without any pushback but that didn't happen and so therefore um i'll be sure uh, put out a cease and desist and i'm sure other people behind the scenes things that we didn't hear about people make phone calls to people that they know in high places or they may have their personal number and saying, hey, man, you know what? And the book was quickly uh, pulled off of Amazon uh, for that matter. And like I said, once again, the uh, salaciousness of the book without any factual proof. So when somebody says that somebody says something, you know, in which uh, Chris Todd, a.k.a. Jamal T. Millwood, 
was basically saying that Kim Porter was saying all of these things, right? 50 Cent had to chime in and basically say, hey, y'all know I don't mess with Diddy, but I don't believe a word out of this fool's mouth. Now, when I was asking the question in regards to, you know, when was he going to show the, uh, the, 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 the hard drive? Let's, you know, only if I, if I receive pushback, then I'll, I'll let you see it. Red flag, red flag. You got a, what, what is considered to be a, out of all of the books on Amazon, this, uh, 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 alleged memoir, which we come out, can come to find out to be a fake memoir is the number one book on Amazon. Amazon is a huge worldwide platform. That was a, a good thing. All uh, Chris Todd, AKA Jamal T. Millwood had to do was show the hard drive and say, this is what I had, right? But he made the excuse and said, well, there's other stuff on the hard drive too. Look, I got a hard drive right here and I can, plug it in and open up what I want to open up and you won't see all of the rest of the stuff on there to know that it's on there. That was another red flag. So the people who were truly listening and understood what was going on, they got it. They call it an interrogation. It wasn't an interrogation. It was a fact finding mission, right? That, uh, Chris Todd, AKA, uh, uh Jamal, uh, T for Tupac Millwood couldn't pass. And in the comment that he gave, once again, I asked him, did you have any, um, do you, are you in possession of any of these tapes that allegedly show Will Smith, Jay-Z, and all of these other people that he, the book was basically saying, um, you know, these, these, these uh, sex tapes or whatever. I'm asking him this. And he basically said, I asked him, are you in possession of those, you know? And he was like, well, I'm not going to argue um, a comment about what the word possession means. Red flag, red flag number three. And the reason that is, is because we all know what possession means. And so when he said that, it reminded me of the guy who pulled uh, 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 that Oprah Winfrey caught on her show, uh, the book, A Million Little Pieces, because they were arguing about what the meaning of a memoir was back in that time when Oprah Winfrey um, basically found out that the guy um, was lying about the book, a million little pieces and he had fabricated and embellished a whole bunch of stuff in there in the book. And she had him on the show. And then she bought him back and was like, I felt like I've been duped. Right. That's what they were trying to do. They were trying to um, argue what was the meaning of a memoir versus uh, something that's a, uh, fiction, if you will, right? So when uh, Chris Todd, AKA Jamal T. Millwood, uh, basically said that, I'm not really gonna comment on about what the word possession means. It showed me that he was lying. Argue about what the word possession means. So as intelligent as he wanted us to uh, uh, think that he was, even at the end of the interview, if you haven't been over there to watch it on the auto dialogue, please do. He said, um, you're good talking about my interviewing style and how I was interviewing him. He was like, you're good. You should have been a lawyer and all of these other things. But then he said, but you're not on my level. Now, I didn't want to come back in any kind because it wasn't personal for me. It wasn't personal at all. I was just trying to find out the information. Now, if I wanted to come back and say something, I would have been like, hey, you know, you know I don't want to be on your level. Right. You know, at that particular time, because once again, he had to remove the picture off of the book. First of all, the picture of Kim Porter, because he couldn't use that uh, in, in regards to the right of publicity. Right. He didn't have that. He would have to get that from uh, Kim Porter's family to actually put that on there to make to be profiting off of what that was, if you will. Right. And so once again, once again. Once again, he didn't really know his ego was in the way and he was more emotional about, or should I said, uh, more overly invested in the fact that what was being asked of him as if he was the one that had wrote the book. 
See, because when you talk about, if you ask me a question and I'm telling you somebody else wrote something, every time you ask me a question, even if it contradicts what I'm what, uh, what the other person had allegedly wrote, I'm not going to get personal about it. I'm not going to get offended. I'm not going to be like, I don't want to talk about that. I already answered that. We already talked about that. I'm not going to do that because it's not me that's talking. It's the person that allegedly wrote the book. So when, when, like I said, once again, um, when you see this and 50 cent basically says, I don't F with Diddy. I, you know, y'all know, I don't F with Diddy, but I don't believe a word coming out of this, uh, uh, this fool's mouth. Right. Once again, that is the reason why. And so, um, when you understand the bigger picture of what that is and what that means, then then you get it. Like I said, once again, for the people who really don't understand that, I guess they'll never understand. You know, um, like I said, and, and, and another thing, when you talk about the overall assessment of what what that that interview was about, like I said, it was a fact finding mission. I wasn't personally invested of none of it. Like I said, more importantly, we were just trying to find out the truth of the matter. And the truth of the matter is that the memoir was fake. Uh, Chris Todd, a.k.a. Jamal T. Millwood, could not put up any of the things that he was talking about in reference to the hard drive, in reference to any kind of videos, in reference to none of the things that I asked him. Therefore, it was fake. Therefore, it wasn't real. Therefore, Amazon pulled the book down off of Amazon based on the title, based on the fact that uh, 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 Chris Todd, uh, Jamal T. Millwood could not use Kim Porter's photo on the cover of a book and not get, you, don't, no matter who owns the photo, you still have to get, when you're selling a product, there's a thing called a rights to publicity for someone who's deceased. You still have to get the uh, estate's permission to do so. And so I knew that already going in. I didn't even have to ask that question. Didn't even have to ask it because I already knew that. And anybody who knows about that knows that also. So like I said, I just wanted to clear that up. But yeah, 50 Cent definitely chimed in, you know, and... um. You know, the, the, the guy, he simply just didn't come across as believable. Like I said, it was a put up or shut up moment. You know, what, what do you have? You know, and, and, and he just kept obfuscating and pushing it off and, you know, trying to, you know, divert people's attention. Oh, no, I'm not going to talk about that. I've already talked about it. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. And so, no, it wasn't nothing that I was actually trying to do. It was something that the real world um, events would have done. And I'm going to show you that I'm going to make a video in regards to that also to show you what I was trying to talk about. And like I said, what he was trying to obfuscate and try to stare away from every time I would talk, he would try to like, Oh no, I don't want to do, I want to talk about, it. you know what I mean? He, he would cut me off. And so a lot of people are talking about me cutting him off. No, but he was cutting me off. If you really look at the video closely, but like I said, you know, we understand and, and, and know about the bots and everything that people try to deploy the negative bots. You know, they have these things called uh, bots that comment, you know, you can create a bot that comments, that makes comments on YouTube videos, right? Consistently and creates different names and, you know, different emojis and different things like that. So we understood where the negativity was coming from because the bots were basically saying all of the same thing every time. You know what I mean? Uh, but we know for a fact that um the video is groundbreaking. And what proof of that is the fact that 50 Cent actually posted it and decided to chime in in regards to the video. So like I said, it's a, it's a classic and this is a classic moment in hip hop and in the community and in the culture. You know what I mean? Because we're dealing with, like I said, we're dealing with Kim Porter. Um, this was no way in any shape, form, a uh, 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 supporter P. Diddy in his current situation. Like I said, I don't need to speak for P. Diddy or against him. He's dealing with his own legal uh, troubles like um, anybody else. And like I said, and that's just what that is. My thing was trying to find out what uh, Chris Todd, a.k.a. Jamal or T. Millwood, actually had as evidence to back up his claims and the things that he was saying in that book. And basically, all of it was just stuff that he picked up offline. And, um, and I know for a fact 
that Kim Porter, once again, would have known a lot of the things um, that would contradict what was said in the book. So therefore, she wouldn't have spoke on those things because these things were widely disseminated. And like her being as close to uh, uh, hip hop and the culture as she was at that particular time, she wouldn't leave nothing behind saying a lot of the things that she had said in that um, alleged memoir that she didn't write and had nothing to do with. She wouldn't have said those things. And see, that's what I understood and that's what I knew. And that's why I came with that approach. So once again, if uh, she did leave that, then it, it wouldn't have been that. Like I said, once again, it, it just, shit wasn't adding up, man. It just wasn't adding up. And so, you know, when, when you know that uh, Tupac was somewhere right here and, you know, the book is trying to say something else in relation to Kim Porter and say, well, Kim Porter said this and that uh, all of these other things that reality contradicts what was being said that says that uh, Chris Todd, uh, a.k.a. Jamal T. Millwood uh, basically wrote this, but he did not do a thorough job. And like he said and admitted, see, there was, you know, the lies mixed with the truth. He said, um, sometimes you just have to go with it. You know, you just have to go with it. That's what he did. He just went with it. And he really didn't thoroughly do the research that he should have done if he was trying to put out something and say that Kim Porter had something to do with it. But more importantly, he couldn't use her picture. So that was the first thing that went down. The picture went down first. And then came the book. Like I said, um, your boy Delray, I appreciate the, uh, 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 the shout out, 50 Cent for the video from the Art of Dialogue. If you haven't checked it out, go over there and check it out. Your boy Delray, straight game.